Hello and thanks for taking time today for viewing this video walkthrough of a 1998 Bayliner 3788. For complete specifications and additional descriptions, as well as photos, please go to waterlineboats.com or boatshedeverett.com. Hi, I'm Gretchen Miles and I'm a certified professional yacht broker. I have been on board and have compiled all of the information as well as taken all of the photos. So if you have questions and you want to get on board, send me a message at Gretchen at waterlineboats.com. Beginning our video walkthrough, stepping aboard the starboard side, you look at the windows which appear to be well sealed, doesn't appear to have any leaking on the inside, no cracking on the foredeck or anywhere on the hull. I have not noticed any damage. This 3788 is powered by twin 7.4 liter 8 cylinder Merc Cruiser engines with approximately 800 hours. 10 to 12 knot cruise is great for efficiency. 16 could get you there perhaps a little more quickly. As I've said, the exterior appears to be in excellent condition. I've popped up to the flybridge area to give you a look at the custom hardcover and the radar arch, as well as the flybridge seating. Flybridge is covered by a bimini to protect you from the sun. There is an iPad connection for the SIMRAD navigation system from below and great visibility to the bow. I want to remind you that this slip is transferable to the next owner. Taking a look at the dinghy with the Olson Davit system off the swim step. The canvas, the full enclosure appears to be in excellent condition and the canvas throughout actually appears to be in excellent condition as well. A fully enclosed cockpit really does allow you to have a longer cruising season. She has three heating systems, a reverse cycle heat and air, as well as electric heating and red dot engine heating while underway. The interior is also incredibly clean, freshly cleaned carpets, blinds, and balances. And as I'm scanning the interior, just want to give you a sense of the light, large windows. And also want to mention that there is an insert for the settee for additional guests. It just isn't on board, but will be available upon closing. Moving forward to give you a better look at the galley in specific, there is storage above and below the sink, which is a side-by-side -side stainless sink. And a closer look at the helm station. Again, just mentioning there is no evidence of leaking through any of the windows, nor does this boat have any kind of a smell that would implicate mold or mildews. Bayliners, as many people know, have been very efficient in their use of space, as evidenced by this guest cabin. And moving across the companionway to the shared head compartment. The current owners did swap out the toilet for a Dometic freshwater electric toilet. There is a separate shower and then demonstrating the private entrance from the master. Master has a pedestal queen with drawer storage below, hanging storage lockers to either side. There is a blackout screen for the hatch above the bed and then again just a demonstration that you have private entrance to the toilet and shower compartment. 
and looking aft. Again, my name is Gretchen Miles, and I thank you very much for coming along on this video walkthrough of a 1998 Bayliner 3788. For complete specifications and descriptions and additional photos, please go to waterlineboats.com or boatshedeverett.com. And never forget good advice. Let your dreams set sail.